Hello and good day to you. Today's video will be unboxing the tall 3 litre deep fat fryer. So it comes in the 9 box and the uh, is black in color. Just take a look at the side of the box, they have some instruction and we'll go closer to see what's on it. The first one says detachable lid with other filter, filter. That's the upper part, and you can see the direction of the box on the the arrow. Direction of the arrow points to the upper part of the box, and you have a graphic that shows you what the filter looks like. Taking a second look at the next um, graphic. Or infographic it say talks about the power indicator light and it points to it with an arrow on the right side we still have the same infographics and we have the safety auto release and we also have folding handle with lifting system We have the adjustable thermostat. The adjustable thermostat is um, how you want the oil to be heated, the temperature you need it to heat up to when you want to fry. So I'll take we'll turn to this other side and see what's there on the board. Just some little instruction there. So let's take a closer look at. information says it's a three liter capacity serves up to its expulsion adjustable thermostat which we have just um, seen the graphics it will select the perfect temperature for your food large viewing window monitor your food as it cooks and we have a, and it has a folding handle with lifting system for added security for added safety and ease of use and they have graphics of nine the picture of the nice food is and there's a picture of a nice food there So what we're going to do, I'm just going to open it and we'll take a look on top. If you take a look on top, you see that we have the manual and we have some police room supporting the product. And here's the product. So here's the manual. I'm just going to bring, bring the fryer out of the box. Need to just tilt it a little. It's quite tight, so we have to turn up. Oh. Just put the box, box. I'll put the box on one side, and I'll take the poly string. Them inside the box so that they don't uh, hinder us. So we have the fryer wrapped in the bag and the manual is in it, but it's on top. So I just take out the manual, it's quite large, but it's in compact uh, size. Okay, this is a guarantee. It comes with um, a guarantee. Let's say. Oh, that's nice. Just some things that do make innovation and excellence. 
come with a leaflet showing some more other products um, that's a bread maker copper fudge soup maker ice diamond olive light and so you can discover more online at the back the same okay no at the back they have um let me put it closer so that you see don't know if the lighting is disturbing so let me put it closer we have um, i said we <laughs> not me we they have uh Sarah Shock Cookwell, Cookware, Sensor Bean, Rotating Knife Block, Health Fryers, Three Pot Slow Cooker. Let me show the other side again. The Bride Maker, Copper Fudge. Soup maker, ice diamond, olive light, and you can discover more of this online. Okay. Oh, there are some tiny winning graphics here too. All right, let's um. Okay, to open it. So this is the back of the fryer. You can see the electrical cord and also you can see the prongs. It has three prongs. I think that's because it's in the UK. Um, when you get yours, it will. I think it will, I think it's going to be. The electrical cord is going to fit the, um, it's going to suit the country that is being bought in. So I'm just going to turn the fryer. And here's the front of the fryer. We'll take a look at the top first. Here's a filter that was indicated in the infographic on the box. On in the infographic on the box, if you remember, there was an arrow pointing upward, and we're talking about a filter, and there was there's another arrow pointing upward. We're talking about this glass see-through window where you can see your food when it's cooking. So we'll just press the clip. You have to be firm but uh, careful so that you don't break it. So you're just going to and it leaves and here is a filter. The cover is plastic. All right, let's uh, open and remove them. You have some paper used to protect um, the inner part of the unit. So we need to remove it. And to remove it, we have to open the upper part of the unit. So I'm just going to show you the lever here. You see that? This is the lever you need to press to release it. So I'm just going to press it, but I want to show you how it flips. So I'm going to press it and uh oh and that's how it opens. We'll remove that. We have the handle here, and this is part of the handle. This is the foldable handle, 
and we have the basket in there so let's see the basket the basket first so here we have the basket and if we take it out the handle is locked okay so what i'll do next what we'll do next is to release the handle so that we can flip and to release the handle there's this notch here so if you press it if you press it i don't know if you can see i'm trying to at, at the same time press and release the hand lift the hand up so that it releases from the lock here and then we can move our basket out so i'm just going to This is the first basket. Just open it. Remove the first one. Oh, they are really locked together. Okay. So I'll just lift. So lifting the basket up to release it. You just lift the handle. Sorry, lift the handle up and the basket releases. So I'll put that aside and we'll take it oops, we'll remove that pattern and here is the element the oil goes in here and there's um, a big pan or should i say thing in here but the, the element is fixed in it and the oil goes in then your basket goes on top frying we need to remove this other cotton that's been used to protect the element and to remove that we need to remove the element so i'll just um try pull up the element i don't know if you can see. okay let me make sure you see that you are seeing it properly so i just pull it up and that removes the element and you can see this prongs here the fit into the cable I will show you the plate, but we remove the element. These prongs here, they fit into here. That's what is going when you plug it. It's going to make it work. If it's not properly connected, it will not work. It will not come on. So remove the buff pattern, and then we have the pan. I'm going to take this pan out because we have to remove this cotton here. That means you can just tear it off if you want, to, but I'm going to take the pan out now. Put the pan aside. I okay so this is the inner part of it you can see how it is so this is it there's the front part and this is the inner part so the pan fits in here and that's where you put, we'll pour the oil in and then we'll fix the element back in here and make sure it slides properly and that is uh, our unit getting ready and when we want to fry we just put it in and once we finish frying I don't know why though. So. 
I'm just taking a look at the pan to make sure. Okay, there's something about the pan. I'm just taking a look at it. Um, it cannot uh, rotate. <laughs> I thought it was able to come up a bit, but it cannot. Just um, firm on this side. Although it's moving a little, but not um, not 360 degrees. So it's just um, one side. All right. So I'll take the element again and clean, and I'll clean the pan. This is a good baking pan. <laughs> Just quickly wipe the pan. Make sure there's no water when, if, even if you wash the pan, maybe because it's stained from fry, from um, frying um, items. So, so it's um, has some. Um, you know, when you fry things, you have those black, some of burnt things around it, some of the burnt food stuff. And you want to wash the pan to keep it tidy and you want to change your oil and wash the pan you make sure that um, it's not wet you don't want wet pan in that unit make sure even the back side the bottom side of it make sure it's dry so make sure your pan is always dry put in and out before you place it in. so I'll just um, place this unit in okay, I think the camera was too far so I'll also do that again Okay. I'll now place I've placed the pan. So now I'll place the element in and make sure it fits properly. So on the front of the the unit, the fryer, we have um, the temp here's the temperature and it has some graphics on it that if you're frying chicken 170 chips 190 fish 150 and the uh, shrimp 130 and also it has a timer when it's ready when you put power on it goes red and when it is um it's ready when the temperature that you set it to is ready it goes green and here is for the timer if you want to time it and here is for the temperature I don't think it's necessary for us to time it but I will, when we are practicing with it I will know if it's necessary so since I've cleaned my pan I'm going to now I've got my sunflower oil I love using sunflower to cook and uh, have um, 5 liters of sunflower oil here so what I'm going to do is to just pour it in. Then we'll plug it and we'll see what um, we can do. So I'll, ha I'll need to clear the boxes because we don't want anything around us when we are frying. So I'll just um, first of all pour the oil in. Okay, I did say something about the pan. Let me show need to clock my oil so that I don't pour it. I might be careless. Okay. Let me show something on the pan. If you take a look at the pan. No, no. Sorry, I didn't do that. I was supposed to do it. Um, they have... Uh, uh, there's a kind of marking here. I'm trying to put my fingers there to make sure it's embossed on it and it shows let me see if I can go closer and grab it okay just there sorry about the reflection you know that's what black does sometimes especially metallic 
so there it shows the minimum and maximum quantity it just shows you the line for minimum and maximum it's an inbox line and let's see if we can grab it without so uh, the element is reflecting so uh, let me do something let me remove the element first and let's see if we can get it now okay that's it i don't know think if you can that's where it is there just there yes that is it maybe a bit changed but uh, that's it and um, this is a line here for maximum and the other one here for minimum although it's hard to see because it's camera but i know uh, when you hold the pan you'll be able to see it the same post there all right so let me put the oil i'll just put it to the minimum I just put it to the minimum and you can see this is a new that's a really new can let me clear this up so this is a new can um, new can of um, this oil is 5 liters and I've just poured to the minimum of that uh, and you can see it. so I'm going to fix the element now you don't need to remove your element every time you want to put the oil you can just put it it's because it's uh, still new that's why I did that because I was trying to show the markings on in the pan and always make sure the there's oil in your pan before you put your fryer on one of the safety measures so and if we have to close oh okay we have not started frying okay i'll get some what am i going to fry so i just place it and do it as if it's as if we are going to fry something So I'm going to go in and just close the cover. And here it is. Just it's compact. Why fry with my fryer open? <laughs> so I'm going to still leave it. Then you can take a look. And you see what you're frying. You can see if it's um, getting ready. So let's take a look at the mechanism of the handle. If you take a, those release button slides down, you can push it down or press it down. Well, slides normally slides. It slides and it releases the handle of the basket. Then the basket goes down to with the item in it to be fried while the handle takes its spot folds and takes its spot and for in front of the fryer the nice thing about this mechanism or and the handle going down is that apart from the handle making the basket go down so that the items can be fried because without the handle going down the basket the items in the basket will not be fried because that means the basket will be up. 
So with the release button, you just push push the release button. <laughs> push the release button and that sets the handle down. As I said earlier, the nice thing about the mechanism that the handle has to go down is that apart from it letting the item in the basket to be fried, which makes the basket go down, the other thing is that someone will bump into the handle when it, the food is cooking or when it's frying. It's just like, um, take the example of a saucepan that we put on the cooker. Remember the handle of a saucepan should be turned to the side so that you don't bump into it or you don't um, get into your sleeves as you're cooking, don't hook on it. So this is a nice mechanism for that too. I, I like that. And when you finish frying, you can just put your finger at the bottom to release and pull the handle up and it releases the handle and brings the handle up alternatively what i do is that i put my hand my <laughs> I, alternatively what i do is that i put my hand on the release lever here and i also put my a finger i put a finger on the release lever here and i also put a finger on the the handle and I just do both of them together and that's a kind that's kind of gentle and you won't hear any clicking noise but if you don't want to do that you can just put your finger on the and just lift the handle and you will have the clicking noise and the handle will come so any which way you want to do it it's optional If it's halfway through or not. So we're going to start, we're going to fry something. So I've set up the fryer and I've plugged it. You can see that it's on there, on the socket. I need to open the I need to open the lid of the fryer. So I'm just going to press the button and then place my hand on the lid. One I'm placing it because I don't want it to flip high, uh, up high and go against the wall and make it bang. So I'll just place my hand at, I'll press the button, place my hand on top of the lid and gently allow the lid to lift my hand as it lifts. The next thing we're going to do is the timer dial. I'm just going to wind it and put it on on to activate. It's just going to be on on, no timer to activate the power button. So we're going to go close to that and you see that the power button has been activated. Next is the temperature dial. I'm going to wind it to 190 and leave it there. So while the oil is getting hot, you know we already poured oil in the fryer. While it's getting hot, and I have opened the window, the kitchen windows, uh, because of the smoke alarm, I'm going to cut those plantain. They are also known as cooking banana.
can dice the plantain, you can slice them. So I'm just going to make some slant slices. Quickly cut the other one. the oil and I've seen that uh, it's getting ready so what I'll do next is to we'll focus on the oil while we fry that so we need to go closer for this And I don't, I can put one just to test to see if it's hot enough. Okay, it's, um, the oil is hot. You can see it um, sizzling. So the oil is hot enough for the plantain. So what I'm going to do, I won't put them all together. I don't want them to, I, I won't just pour them in because I don't want them to splash. Uh, I really don't like hot oil. <laughs> so I'll bring the button of the... I bring the button of the the handle, button of the handle down. I just slide it down. And allow the handle to come up. And just leave the handle and allow it to come up. That will enable me to put more. That will enable me to put more of the plantain into the basket. And then I can, I can fry them together because I don't want splashes. So lift it, shake it gently. Then I'll put the. You cannot. If you notice, you can see that the handle is still up. That's why the basket is up. So you take the knot, the, the button here, slide it back, and we are like. It's because of this thing that I opened my window because when it goes up and um, it gets into the smoke alarm, the smoke alarm is going to really it's going to react and there'll be alarm all over the house. That's because it is oil we are frying. So what the smoke alarm is reading is oil is burning. So when you're frying, open your windows. You can also shake it as it's oh let's focus on it. You can also shake it as it's um as it's frying. That's to separate it because if it, because sometimes they become sticky. So I'm just going to use a wooden a wooden spatula to turn it. You can see that it's going golden brown. 
I'm going to use it with scrambled eggs. I've, um, I've already done the scrambled eggs. But I didn't do it in the deep fryer. I did it in the uh, on a shallow on the cooker. So it's getting slightly brown. That means it's getting cooked. You don't need to stir it if you don't want to. You can just take the basket handle. Lift it and then shake it through the basket if you want that. I'm going to turn some of them over so that the others. Because if you're frying something like plantain, they they stick together so you need the, you need to shake the basket to make it to make them separate you don't want them forming if a large lump especially if you are using deep fryer you don't want them forming a large lump even if you are not using deep fryer you just don't want that some parts will be properly cooked my plantain is getting ready. I don't like my plantain too brown. Some people like theirs over brown, burnt. No, I don't like that. I like it just slightly brown. Uh, you can. Let's take a look at my plantain. Good, it's bon it's bunny now. <laughs> okay, take it down, get it burnt. And I'm going to lift the handle so I have my plantain ready I'll put the timer on off and the temperature back to minimum so that the next person will have to set it themselves depend on what they are going to fry I can leave it like that so I'm going to now take You just lift the pan just lift it up sometimes it's a bit hard but you get used to it so let me set my food just allow it to drip some to allow some of the oil to drink uh, one is there come on <laughs> okay can I to put down before you close the lid if you want to but that's optional but it's good so I'm going to just disconnect it from the wall just to be safe And I have my eggs here. That's a really large meal. <laughs> okay. I need my fork. So I'm going to place it to one side and just um, just put the eggs nicely at the side. Oh, this is quite heavy. Fried, fried. <laughs> so I just put it there. Simple home meal. I don't take a glass of water. You are fine with this. So this is a simple home meal we made from our. The, we fry the plantain. You can fry chips, you can fry chicken. So, because we're busy for different series, we will be frying different items with this fryer. Fried turkey, we'll be frying. Thanks for joining me for this video of unboxing 
the tower three liters deep fat fryer until next time enjoy your cooking bye for now thank you